Good morning. Happy Thursday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and it is perfect before I start the call. It's a very important day today. Today, raise your, everybody have coffee? Everybody have coffee? This is a toast. To the greatest lead singer of any rock band in the history of mankind, today is Sammy Hagar's 75th birthday. He is playing a show in Cabo San Lucas today uh, with his band. So there you go. Happy birthday, Sammy. I always have to mention that every year. Hey, uh, I've got a, a couple of questions in respect to that javelin throw that I posted on iFast uh -huh. the other day. Yes, sir. So, so um, the first one I've got was just in respect to her uh, presentation. Initially, like looking at a, just straight off the cuff, I go. Matt, Matt, yeah, is it okay yeah. if I bring those pictures up? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, she's she's happy to share it. What, anything you like, so that's okay, fine. Was, was that on IFAST University? It was IFAST U. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up her pictures then. Hang on a second. Yeah. That way, people know what we're talking about. Cool. Uh, yeah, that white the, the the wave one's quite interesting. I think that video in slow mo with the wave is is a good illustration of some of the stuff you actually talk about. Uh huh. So, uh, do you want to do you want to start with that, or do you want to start with something else? Oh, I don't care. Yeah. It, okay. You have the javelin throw, so let's go here. Yeah. So, watching that wave as that lead leg strikes, we see that wave run up the, oh, the yeah. lateral front leg there. Yeah, hits her in the hits her in the outside of the the uh, the the lower back from my yeah. observation, and then comes comes back again. So, yeah. on, on speaking to her, when she starts to get into her uh, higher uh, level throws, a little more uh, intensity, she ends up getting a, a fair bit of lumbar pain after the immediately after the throw, and and you can sort of see it hit and then turn around and come back down again. Yeah. Now, now me not understanding a great deal about javelin, would we expect? I know that's a blocking white, like that's a blocking leg. So would yeah. we expect the wave to stop there and come back, or ideally would it disperse further, or is it sort of an inevitable outcome? Um, re re repeat one second. Yes. Repeat your question because yes, yeah, so. So seeing that the wave appears to go no further than the, well, the bulk of it anyway, no further than the lumbar spine and then sort of comes back down again. Right. Um, okay. Okay. Let me, let me, let me stop you there. I, I think, I think I can get you from, from yeah. point A to point B. Okay. So, so she, like this leg, I mean, the strategy on the, on the lead leg is, is a, a very a typical representation, but what I want you to see is right here. You see this right here? See this position right here? Uh, I'm struggling with Sauzy, but all right, go, yeah. Okay, you see where she's at, right? Yep. She's not squared up. Okay. I do see so, that. So this is where you can start to see the, the orientation really starting to kick in, okay? Yeah. And so, so what's going to happen here is, so as she plants, the, the energy is going to go up and out and around this, this right hip instead of coming straight up in through her pelvis. And so what we would want to see here, instead of this orientation, is I would like to see something that's closer to a, a, a better alignment of, of the extremity to the ISA to the shoulder. So you can see how she's kind of flat here and kind yes. of horizontally. Okay. I would want this to be in a much better line. Um, yeah. Uh, that would be representative of, of a more ideal uh, presentation because then what you've got is you've got the the uh, IR superimposed on the ER in that position. And so now the energy can go up into the javelin instead of hitting her uh, on the lateral aspect of the hip, coming around and popping her in the back. Like it literally will come around her and hit her um, on the back of the pelvis, like near the base of the sacrum, the lumbar spine because yeah. of this orientation so this is this is the position that stood out to me when i was looking at the yeah yeah so so my my assessment of her um having looked at 
looked at the way that she does things is essentially she's got a massive anterior orientation. Yeah. And pretty much she executes, you know, every, everything as far as even e excluding her javelin throwing, just moving around the gym, everything is done with that biard spine. And, yeah. um, and she obviously achieves a throwing position uh, relying on that quite a bit as well as we can sort of see. Yeah, if you look at her, if you look at her head position here, you can. So this is this this is a head whip. If we were talking about baseball pitching and stuff like that, this would be a head whip. This is the yep. this is the dr compression showing up. This is why she's got to snap her head so so far away from the the javelin. Um, what I want you to see here, though, um, Matt, you see the you see the the indentation at the top of the hips, and then you see this expansion here. Yes. Okay. So this, this um, obviously is concentric orientation of the musculature that's above the trochanter, okay? Yeah. And then what you, so that create, that, that holds the anti-orientation. So she's got a lot of downforce going through the pelvis onto the femur. And then this is your femur um, orienting out into ER. So do you reckon she's like a coxavara? Yes, in that direction. Yeah. Uh, coxivera, yeah. so so coxivera would be a deformity, right? Um, yeah. But that's that's that, and you can you can see it here. You can really see it here too. Whoops. Pushing out to the sides. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me get this thing go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So, and you can, again, you can see. You see a lot of orientation here, and you can see oh, a, nice, oh. nice little little um, oblique there. Okay. So. Yeah. You know, I mean, and she's obviously, you know, well muscled and and such. So she's she's heavily trained. There's no question about that. But but um, I think if you if you can get a a reduction of any of this orientation, she's going to be a much happier temper. Yeah, yeah. So there was a couple of things in respect to that being that being the case. The the that would indicate that she's she's a, a, a narrow is that the, if if that's if that coxavera is in place mm -hmm. it's gonna not necessarily it because okay. again, not, yeah. not necessarily she's just heavily she's heavily trained so take anybody with an anti-orientation that's strong enough it's she's going to get pushed down like she's way forward like she's way yeah. forward. yeah um let me see if i can find it do we have a side view of her matt uh, I do, but I, I'd be hard pressed to get it up on my phone for you. Okay. But I, no I might post one. I, I might post one because she's dead if, flat. Like DR is flat as a. Yeah, I was going to say if, if you had a side view, I think we would see how far forward she actually is. But with with yeah. that degree of anti orientation, she's 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 compressing everything downward at that point. Yeah, because I was under the impression um, through something else that we looked at previously that the. Uh, that the coxavera generally occurred in the in the narrows because it will they are stay. up, so they need to come they come down right and then but think about this okay she's a wide isa and she's pushing down it's not going to come back up. it's not going to yeah come true true okay true yeah okay Okay. Um, it, 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 further on that, in respect to that knee orientation, where you see that hyperextended kind of that ER, ER uh, presentation at the at, at the at the knee or that ER strategy, yes, sir. Um, that in my observation so far has typically been in in narrows. Um, and it was one of the other reasons that I thought perhaps she was she was a narrow, albeit she's obviously she looks kind of wide, but. Um, uh, I watch. Do you get that often in wides as well? That that, that if you press down strategy? hard enough, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. what you're what you're seeing. What you're seeing is the okay. So, um, um, Matt, take a bamboo pole, okay, and compress it. What happens? Bends. It bends. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So you get enough downforce. And so, so think, just think about what's going through that lead leg from a downforce perspective, right? And she's got to push down through it. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and she's, and she's got the ER orientation. So again, it's like, you're, you're just, she's going to have a lot of trouble capturing any, any um, relative hip IR. 
And, and, but again, it's like that becomes the problem because what we want, again, you, you, with the, with the, the single leg contact out in front of her, you, you need the energy to come um, up the extremity and towards the, the middle of the pelvis, not the lateral aspect of the pelvis. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Like you, you do that, you do that, and you're going to see a neat little change in her axial alignment. You're going to see a much better position. So as the as the internal rotation is propagating up through her axial skeleton to hit her in the shoulder, um, as the the body is moving forward and the arm is still going backward relative to it, you're going to see a much better position of the javelin, um, and and honestly you're going to give her a, a heck of a whip through that shoulder that she, she should get some distance out of it. Yeah. Okay. She's, well, dampening. Be yeah. She's dampening right now. Yeah. 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 My concern is that she's going to end up with like a knee thingy too. Well, I'm surprised she doesn't have one already to be quite Yeah, honest. I am too. But, but again, it's like wear and tear, you know, it's, it, she's already starting to feel it. She, it. And chances are, if she's feeling it in the, like at the base of the sacrum, the beginning of the lumbar spine, the knee is next. Well, she'll she'll be able to she'll be able to self treat because she's a PT by trade, so she's a she's a physio by trade, so she can uh, she can sort that one out herself. N no. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, yeah, therapist treat thyself uh, is is not a law of physical therapy. <laughs> uh, you have the least objectivity with yourself, uh, and I. Yeah. I can vouch, right? So, yeah, so fair there. enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like, like right. you're, you're gonna spend you're gonna spend most of your time trying to get trying to get a true ER representation back in the hip, okay, and then reducing the anti orientation, and then she's probably gonna be a pretty happy camper because I think not only will you alleviate symptoms, but most likely you'll she'll get a bump in performance too. <laughs>